Alrighty guys, it is finally time to get hands on with Tor and see the real life dark web. We have gone through the differences of the dark web through the deep web. We've introduced terminology and a bit of history around the dark web. We've gone through core concepts and now it's finally time to actually dive into it. So go ahead and open up an internet browser or just follow along in the section. I'll be using Mozilla Firefox. You can use any browser you want on Windows or Mac machines. So go ahead and open that up and let's switch over now. All right, so now that you have your browser open, go ahead and go to the search bar and navigate to the torproject.org. And you'll see when the site loads up, there's a lot of different stuff to uh, view or read or and all that. Uh, all we care about right now is this giant download Tor button. So go ahead and press that. It should automatically detect what kind of computer you're using. In this case, I'm using a Windows machine. Um, if you're using Mac or Linux, uh, go ahead and press down there if it didn't automatically detect that. But all you need to do is press the big old download button and it will bring up something to ask you if you want to save the file. Say save and it will begin downloading. And while that's downloading, it takes a second. Um, we'll go ahead and check out the documentation. The documentation for Tor has a lot of different information for you guys to look up and read. Uh, they have just general questions that they answer uh, and different things like that. If you ever have a question about Tor installing or using Tor, if Tor is not working for you, uh, so on and so forth, check this site first. Don't go asking online, just check here. Usually they have, I mean, you can see there's probably over a hundred different questions they've answered in depth. You know, why is Tor so slow? And you can read about that and more and more. So go ahead and read through all of those if you're ever having questions about Tor. But that download looked like it finished, so we'll go ahead and start that now and run. And you will see an installer window pop up and it will ask you what language you want. I'll be using English in this example. And then it will ask you where you want to install it. Um, it should be just fine at the desktop. Usually it defaults to the desktop. Uh, this warning comes up for me because I already have Tor on this machine, as you can see right here. But I'll just go ahead and overwrite that one with this new one. And during the installation process, if you want to see any details about what's being installed and all that, you can press on the Show Details button. Uh, but we'll come back right when that's done installing. And it looks like Tor is just about wrapped up here. Uh, as you can see, it gives you two options right off the bat. If you want to run the Tor browser and add the start menu and desktop shortcuts, uh, which we do. So you'll press finish. And it should launch Tor. Now, be patient while Tor is being launched. Uh, obviously, it's not super fast. It takes a minute to configure everything and get everything up and running. And usually, a window will pop up. Uh, we're waiting for that any second now. And right there, you'll see it says connecting to the Tor network. And usually this part can take a while. And if there's any issues with your Tor connection, this is when it will appear and, and it'll give you information on what exactly went wrong. But it looks like it connected just fine. And you can see now, um, one way to tell to make sure your Tor browser is up to date fully is uh, right on this home screen here. It will tell you if Tor is not up to date or uh, by this onion over here, it will have a little exclamation point saying that Tor is not updated. Uh, it's always good to have the latest version of Tor to be the safest on the dark web. So generally guys, that's it. That's all you have to do uh, to download Tor and get it all set up. In the next module, we'll discuss the layout a little bit about Tor and what all the security settings mean and how they work. And then we'll actually learn how to find links through Tor and how to browse the regular web. And then we'll focus on browsing the dark web with Tor.